My name is Nate Prosser. I um, started skating when I was probably three years old. My love and my drive came from my brother and my dad. My brother's three years older than me and he played and my dad played. And they would go to the outdoor rinks and um, my, I would have to get my skates on myself and push around the chair until I finally picked it up to you know, follow my brother around. There was a lot of steps on the way for me to make it to the NHL. I grew up in Elk River, Minnesota. Played all my youth um, through high school there. Went to Sioux Falls, South Dakota for two and a half years and then on to Colorado College for four. I played um, in Houston for a year and a half and then I've been in Minnesota ever since. My mind was blown over the fact of how God had his hand in all this. Um, you know, closing doors with certain teams, opening them with others and just kind of opening our eyes to Minnesota and the fact that this would be the best fit and the right spot for me and my family. And it's kind of a no brainer for me to pick uh, to play for the Wild. Being in the locker room and putting the, on the jersey and looking across from me, you know, with Koivu and Burnett and, you know, some guys that I, you know, kind of grew up watching, going down the XL watching, um, you know, it was an exciting time for me and my family. And, um, you know, I, it's, it was always a dream of mine to, you know, play in the NHL. I was just, you know, God's kind of let me live it out now. God's put me in this NHL for a reason. Um, there's not many Christian hockey players. If he's gonna put me in the NHL, my light's gonna shine for him. There's a, there's a pecking order in, in my life and you know, faith is number one. So I, I gotta make sure that you know, I'm growing in that and you know, being a light uh, to whoever I come across. My wife, she's, she shares my faith with me and we push each other to you know, get worship music on and pray together and you know, read our devotionals and, um, you know, that's been a, a big key for me in my life is, you know, how, how strong my wife is in her faith. You know, I've been lucky enough over the last few years to have some Christian teammates as well and Bill Butters is our head chaplain for the end season and so we get, uh, you know, a handful of guys in, into those chapels and Bill does a great job, you know, with his teachings, um, Bible studies and stuff like that, so it's, it's been huge for me. I love coming to the HMI camps because I get to interact with the kids and um, um, see them smile, you know, get to play in the games with them and drills with them and, you know, teach them a thing or two about, you know, hockey and the, the way the game is going and the way um, it's developing. So, um, you know, I just, I like being out here and, you know, cherish, cherish the time with them. I want all the kids to know, like, if you're a Christian hockey player, you're in this for a reason. Um, you know, there's not many Christian hockey players. You gotta have fun playing the game. You gotta go to the rink with a smile on your face each and every day. And that's what I still try doing today. You know, there's, there's some ups and downs with it. You still gotta go on and be that positive light to your teammates and be the hardest working guy and have fun with it. There's always times where I gotta take a step back and um, you know, hockey is just what I do. It's not who I am. You know, it's it's going to come to the come to an end for everybody. Uh, hockey doesn't last forever. I want to be known as a good teammate, a good friend, a good father, a good husband, a good son, a good brother. I mean, faith is everything for me, and you know, hockey's just you know is there for me in my career right now um, to you know try to strive to be my best. I mean, that's what God wants. He wants me to you know, push, push each day to get better at what I do. God is, you know, ultimately who I want to strive to, you know, be more like. Jesus is my Lord and Savior. Is he yours? He's there for you and he loves you. Reach out to him and he'll be there for you as well.